Hi, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can use or convert your Silhouette Studio cutting files with your brother Scan and Cut machine and also how you can import SVG cutting files into the Brother Online Canvas software and convert them into Scan and Cut cutting files. Now the SVG files could be your own files that you've made in Inkscape or they could be files that you've bought or obtained free off the internet. Um, but if they're in an SVG format, this is hopefully um, going to be showing you how to do it. But first of all, we're going to start off with a silhouette file. So on the screen here, I've got um, Silhouette Studio opened and I've got a cutting file. Now. I believe in previous versions of Silhouette Studio, there was an export function. If you have that version, um, then all that you would do um, would be to find the export function from the page tabs. Um, I would imagine that you would go to file and look for export or edit and look for export. I would think usually under file. Um, so at the top of your page, if you went to file and you've got an export option, you would click on export and you should get an option to export as an SVG file. And if you've got that function, then all you would do is click that option, save the file somewhere you can find it, maybe on your desktop or in a folder that you know where it would be on your um, computer. And then when we get to the uh, Canvas software, um, I'll show you what you do with it there. My version of Silhouette Studio doesn't have the export function. I believe um, they took it out. So if, like me, you've only got this version that hasn't got the export function, this is how you can convert your cutting files to scan and cut files. So I've just opened my library and I've got this basic shape here. Now, on this particular shape, I don't need the colour fill and it'll save on ink because we're going to have to print it out. So I'm going to go to this icon here and click and I'm going to remove the fill. And I actually like to work with a black outline, although when you're scanning with the Brother Scan and Cut, it doesn't matter what colour it is really, so long as there's a contrast between your, your shape and your background. So if you're printing onto white paper, as long as you've got a good contrast, you'll be okay. But I prefer to work in black, so I'm going to change that. So I'm going to go to this icon here, which is the line style window, and I'm going to change it to black. Then I'm going to click on the next icon, which is the line style window, and making sure I've got this um, solid line chosen, I'm going to thicken this line if you try to print this now, um, you may find that it comes out of your printer very, very, very faint. So just from doing a quick few tests, I found that the best result I get is if you click on this up arrow here where it says point PT and go to 0 0.75 and that will thicken the line slightly, but not too thick that it affects um, your design. And then what you must do is you must click this box here at the bottom that says print lines of selected shapes. Once you've got that done, all that you would do then is go to file and print and then follow your printing um, dialog box for your computer. But basically you would print it, then take it to your brother's scan and cut put it either on your scanning mat and scan it in or put it onto your standard mat and scan it in. Um, either way, it will convert your printed shape into a cutting file for your brother scan and cut machine. So that's, that's um, one or two ways depending on whether you've got the export option within your Silhouette Studio or not. Um, now I'm going to open Canvas. Now Brother have given us this basic software which is um, a cloud-based software called Canvas. Um, 
if you've got SVG cutting files, which are a scalable vector graphic file, um, usually made in something like Inkscape, um, but could be made in, in, in other um, graphics programs, um, I'm not too sure. Um, but basically you can convert those files to Brother cutting files as well. And the way to do this is, um, once you're in the Canvas software, we've now got an SVG icon here. Now I've just been on the internet and I've just Googled free SVG cutting files and managed to find a couple of files. So I'm going to bring in um, two to show you because one is a basic cutting file shape and one is in layers. So all as I would do is um, click on this icon and then it asks me to choose my file. And I've got them all saved on my desktop. So um, the first one is this one, Rings Border SVG. So I'm going to click select and then it, it says it here. I've got the right one chosen and click OK. And it will bring the SVG file, which is here, into my Canvas software. All as I have to do then is um, give it a name. I'll call it Rings Border. Click on the Save icon. Wait for it to do its little magic and save. And then it will put it in my, it's told me it's saved, and it will put it now um, within all my other projects. And to find that, you would go to Project, back to My Project, and it, this brings up your library of all your files that you've got saved online in the Scan and Cut software and there it is. And if I want to open it and edit it, I click on this icon or if I just go back, if I don't want to open it and I just want to download it, I would click on this icon here which is also the same icon that you get when you're actually in this window here. So once you've got your um, file saved and converted and you want to download it, you click on the download button either from here or from within your projects. And then it's brought the name up already because I've given it a name. And then all as you do is you right click and you choose download link file as and you choose a place to save it. In my case, it's the desktop. You can see it's got the same name, but it's now got an FCM format and you would save. And that will then put that cutting file on my desktop. All as I would need to do then is drag that onto a USB stick and put it in machine and cut it. Okay, so now I'm just going to go to create new project and I'm going to bring another file in because the next file I found was in layers so I'm going to show you how, how you would deal with that. So again, you go to SVG, or SVG sorry, choose your file, and um, I'm going to choose the next one. Now, the next one was in, as I say, four layers, um, frame, sky, snow bottom, and snow top. So I'm going to choose frame, and choose, and click OK, and that's brought this frame onto my page. I'm going to go back to the SVG icon, look for the next part. It doesn't matter which order you bring these in because you can reorder them. I'm going to go for sky, choose, okay. That's brought my sky in. Now, then back to the SVG icon. I'm going to go for snow bottom, choose, okay. That's brought that one in. I'm going to go back again and go for the last section, which is snow top and choose and okay. And that's all the four layers of this cutting file that you would cut individually in um, different pieces of card or paper and then you would layer them up and use them on your project. Um, again, all as you would need to do is um, I would, in fact I don't think you need to group it to save it, but I would give it a name, um, you know, again call it anything snow frame and save it and then again once it tells you it's saved you can download it and follow the same procedure right click download file save it somewhere where you can find it and then drag it onto a USB stick put it in your um, 
brother scan and cut and cut it out. I hope you found that helpful. Um, if you have any questions or queries, um, please leave me a comment. Um, please like, share and subscribe if you would like to see more. Thanks a lot.